welcome back art friends. We are going to add a little bit more diversity to our polka dot animal farm. Today we are going to make a polka dot chicken. You're going to need some water, a rag to clean your paintbrush off. You're going to need three brushes, a medium flat brush, a medium and small round brush, and then you're going to need red, yellow, green, a light blue, dark blue, purple, black, and white. So let's get started. My background is going to be a light blue with a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna take my big paintbrush and I'm gonna make some X's on my background with this big paintbrush. I'm gonna drop a little bit of purple by each one of these X's. And then without washing my brush off at all, I'm just gonna go in with white paint and I'm gonna start Xing out every area of this background. I'm gonna wash my paintbrush off and let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our fun, funky chicken. With a nice and dry background, I am going to find my medium round brush and some white paint. I'm gonna lay out where my chicken is gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create um, an, an oval right down here at the bottom of my canvas, and this oval is gonna be a little bit slanted. Okay, I'm gonna draw out the shape of my chicken first a little bit slanted and from there I'm going to take this oval and I'm going to make the head of my chicken and so my chicken is going to kind of be coming off to the side but looking at us so I'm going to go up and around kind of looks like a little baby pacifier doesn't it now from here what we're going to do is we are going to just kind of paint all of this space in. you see how I just connected this the head of my chicken around the top of the oval and down. Same thing right here, the head of the chicken around the top of the oval and down. So go ahead and paint that and you can use your large brush or your round brush, whatever one you want. And then we will have our shape of our chicken ready for some fun. Now that I have my chicken laid out, let's start putting together some of the important parts of our chicken. Um, we're gonna first add the eyes to our chicken. And with the eyes, I'm gonna take yellow paint. I know that seems kind of bright, but we're gonna dull it down, don't worry. And right up here on the top, I'm gonna make an oval that kind of goes top to bottom. So it's not a circle. So I'm doing is taking my finger and I'm kind of going up and down with it. And what I'm doing when I do that is I'm kind of tilting my head a little bit on my chicken because the chicken's looking at you like, what are you doing, human? Why are you gonna put polka dots on me? I'm gonna use my medium round brush and red paint, and I'm going to add, watch this, a very tall, skinny triangle with a wavy back to it. So tall, skinny triangle, wavy back. Now that triangle does come down onto her face. So from up here, I'm gonna very gently start waving a couple of little lines. And as I get closer to that left eye, I make my waves a little bit bigger. This time I'm gonna curve this top and this should go right to the center of her head. Now, let's look at our beak. We're gonna go back to red to finish it up for a minute, but let's move on to our beak real quick so that we know where to put our red. I'm going to use yellow paint and right here in the center of her face, I'm going to make a triangle 
And from that triangle, I'm gonna curve the edges. So triangle, curve the edges. And then underneath that triangle, I'm gonna put like a W. You see that? It almost looks like an upside down heart. I'm gonna paint this whole space in. I'm gonna take a little bit of red on my brush with a dirty paintbrush, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of red to it. That was way too much. I'm gonna wipe that brush off. It's probably enough red for the whole beak. And I'm just gonna kind of make it a little bit of a messy mix, which means I don't want it to be super nice and neat. I want it to look a little bit more abstract expressionist where you can see those lines really well. Wash that brush off. Now I know where I'm gonna put the rest of my red. So same brush, but it's clean. I'm gonna take this red down right around the top of her nose. I'm also gonna add just a little bit underneath her beak. It's like a small little bump right here and then a couple of bigger ones. Now to give a little bit of shadow to those, I'm gonna use my purple paint. So I just wiped my brush off, I didn't wash it off. A Little bit of purple paint, I'm gonna put right down in the center, and right underneath her beak, to show that there's a little bit of a shadow. There's some dimension in that chicken. Now let's look back at her eyes. We're gonna take a little bit of dark blue on my small brush. We're gonna add just a little bit around the eyes. Just gentle, a little bit. Now let's talk about her feathers. She's gonna have a lot of feathers and we're gonna put those in first with some paint brushes and then we're gonna move into our finger painting. So with my medium flat brush, I'm gonna start by adding in some um, blue and purple. So I'm gonna do a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple on my brush. And this is my dark blue and my dark purple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little V shapes and by just by tapping. They're gonna kinda of come down here to the center area. And as they come down, they're gonna connect and go down her front. And as they go down her body, I can make those lines a little bit wider. do the same thing now with the blue and the purple but I'm gonna add a little bit of red on my brush so I've got blue purple and red and I'm gonna make some more areas of color with this color I am going to allow the white to show through a little bit more
with the same brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to create a highlight. So this side over here is gonna have a highlight, which means that this purplish blue color, and a little bit of white into it, is gonna come up right around this side of her head. And as I get closer to the top, I'm gonna to switch to a smaller brush because I wanna have a little bit more control about where my paint is going. On the other side, I'm gonna to start to really dissipate my colors allowing more of that white to show through. So you can still see that there's feathers of all her colors, but that highlight is much more prominent. Now with my medium flat brush, all nice and dry, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow into the mix a little bit of yellow into the mix. Now this is where you have to be very careful because if it mixes too much, you're gonna get a brown gunky color. So I'm gonna add little spots of yellow, kind of randomly as I see fit, following the lines of the feathers that I originally placed in. I'm gonna let Little Miss Chicken dry. And when we come back, we're gonna add our final details, which are gonna be our highlights and lowlights, our high color, of course, our glasses. We're gonna give her a necklace. We're gonna finish her up. Now, let's take this little chick from looking slightly interesting to more like a chick, shall we? I'm gonna start with my baby brush and I'm going to use black paint. What I'm gonna do, in fact, I can even use my little finger if I wanted to, watch this, I can even take this. I just love the way my fingers make polka dots. And I'm gonna set that dot at the bottom left of the eye. So I don't want it to be directly in the center, but more like bottom left. Already looks better, right? If you need to clean up your circle at all, this is what the paintbrush might be for. Sometimes our fingers are not the most perfect circles. Sometimes they are. With that black paint still on my brush, I'm gonna do a very small outline around her eye. I'm also going to give her this wavy line on her beak that's gonna be where her beak opens and closes. So it's gonna start here and it's gonna bump up and down and up and down. I'm gonna wash that brush off. And I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to the red. So with both red and purple on my brush, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark areas on here that are gonna kinda of show the flaps and the folds of her. And then let's give her beak some highlight. So with my white paint on my clean round brush, my small round brush, I'm gonna go right on here to this right-hand side and I'm just gonna make a couple of spaces of lighter white to show that like, you know, we were trying to do on her body that this is the lighter side of her. I even add a little bit of white on her red spaces too. All right, let's back this up and add some more details to her. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more lighter spaces over here. So now that this is dry, I feel like I can safely go in and add some white on top. 
because we do want her to look like she's got a highlight on the side of her before we go in with all of our polka dots. So same way I did her feathers, I'm just dropping some light color on there. Perfect. Now it is time for her polka dot. So if you've done any of our polka dot paintings before, um, you know it's kind of a little bit more random how you put them down. It's just supposed to add some fun to our animals. So with my finger, I am going to take some yellows and I'm gonna think about these as almost like highlights. So any place where there's a lighter spot on her, I could drop some of these yellow fingerprints onto her. And then as I move over to maybe some of my darker areas, I could put some purple fingerprints. And then for fun, we grab some green and other colors just because we do want this to be kind of a fun, funky chicken. I mean, we're gonna give her little reading glasses and a, a necklace, so she has to be a little bit funky, right? So we're just gonna add some of these brighter colors in some areas. So let's add in our glasses. Um, I am going to have her have little reader glasses. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to draw a straight line across the top of her eye. And then from there, I am going to do just a small little swoop. and connect these with a little bump over her nose. Wash that brush off. I'm gonna add my light blue as my highlights on her glasses. So with just a little bit of light blue on my skinny baby brush, I'm gonna just add a little bit of color to her glasses. going to use the back of my big brush along with white paint to give her a necklace. So back of my big brush along with white paint, I am going to give her a necklace that is going to go right along her neckline. And because she's a fun, funky chicken, we are gonna give her a couple flowers in her hair as well. So I am going to mix up some of my dark purple and my light purple, or my dark purple and my white to make a light purple. And I am going to go right up at the top of her head and I am going to give her a couple of flowers. So I just like to take paint on my finger and kind of swirl it around. And then I will take my itty bitty baby brush with a second color, so I think I'm gonna do dark purple with this one, and make some curved little C lines. I like to make them look like curved lines, letter C's going out, which will help this look like a rose when I'm finished. Also give her a yellow flower right here 
for this yellow flower, I am just gonna take skinny lines and pull them in to one area. We'll be behind my purple flower, so I don't have to worry if I hit my purple flower. A small little black dot in the center. And last but not least, a couple little flower fingerprints. These are just my fingerprint, just adding a little bit more around my flower. If you want to, you can add some greenery for her flowers. You know, just a little frowny face and a smiley face together. They make a great little leaf. I always like to add a little bit of yellow to the top of my leaves to make them look like they pop just a little bit. And the last couple things I need to do is I need to add a black outline. And the black outline I'm gonna give her, it's not a full black outline and you do not need to totally completely outline her. But I do want to give her a little bit of definition. So with some black paint on my skinniest brush, I'm gonna do what I like to call a ghost line. And it's a line where sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. And don't forget, when you're finished, find a color that's gonna stand out on your painting. Sign your name. Don't forget to share it with us on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose on Facebook, as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all of our latest videos. Well, she sure was a fun, funky chicken to paint, wasn't she? Thanks for joining me today, friends. Have a great day. Bye. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more lighter spaces over here. So now that this is dry, I feel like I can safely go in and add some white on top because we do want her to look like she's got a highlight on the side of her before we go in with all of our polka dots. So same way I did her feathers, I'm just dropping some light color on there. Perfect. Now it is time for her polka dots. So if you've done any of our polka dot paintings before, um, you know it's kind of a little bit more random how you put them down. It's just supposed to add some fun to our animals. So with my finger, I am going to take some yellows and I'm gonna think about these as almost like highlights. So any place where there's a lighter spot on her, I could drop some of these yellow fingerprints onto her. And then as I move over to maybe some of my darker areas, I could put some purple fingerprints. And then for fun, we grab some green and other colors just because we do want this to be kind of a fun, funky chicken. I mean, we're gonna give her little reading glasses and a, a necklace, so she has to be a little bit funky, right? So we're just gonna add some of these brighter colors in some areas. So let's add in our glasses. Um, I am going to have her have little reader glasses. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a straight line across the top of her eye. And then from there, I am going to do just a small little swoop.
and connect these with a little bump over her nose. Wash that brush off. I'm going to add my light blue as my highlights on her glasses. So with just a little bit of light blue on my skinny baby brush, I'm going to just add a little bit of color to her glasses. Now I'm going to use the back of my big brush along with white paint to give her a necklace. So back of my big brush, along with white paint, I am going to give her a necklace that is gonna go right along her neckline. And you know, maybe she is a fancy little old lady chicken. So I'm gonna give her another one. We're gonna give her two pearl necklaces right along her chest. And because she's a fun, funky chicken, we are gonna give her a couple flowers in her hair as well. So I am going to mix up some of my dark purple and my light purple, or my dark purple and my white to make a light purple. And I am going to go right up at the top of her head and I am going to give her a couple of flowers. So I just like to take paint on my finger and kind of swirl it around. And then I will take my itty bitty baby brush with a second color, so I think I'm gonna do dark purple with this one, and make some curved little C lines. I like to make them look like curved lines, letter C's going out, which will help this look like a rose when I'm finished. I'm gonna also give her a yellow flower right here. For this yellow flower, I am just gonna take skinny lines and pull them in to one area. We'll be behind my purple flower so I don't have to worry if I hit my purple flower. A small little black dot in the center. And last but not least, a couple little flower fingerprints. These are just my fingerprint. Just adding a little bit more around my flower. If you want to, you can add some greenery for her flowers. You know, just a little frowny face and a smiley face together. They make a great little leaf. I always like to add a little bit of yellow to the top of my leaves to make them look like they pop just a little bit. And the last couple things I need to do is I need to add a black outline. And the black outline I'm gonna give her, it's not a full black outline and you do not need to totally completely outline her but I do want to give her a little bit of definition. So with some black paint on my skinniest brush, I'm gonna do what I like to call a ghost line. And it's a line where sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. And don't forget, when you're finished, find a color that's gonna stand out on your painting, sign your name, 
Don't forget to share it with us on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose on Facebook, as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all of our latest videos. Well, she sure was a fun, funky chicken to paint, wasn't she? Thanks for joining me today, friends. Have a great day. Bye.